What's up YouTube? This is James coming back at you with another informative video. I hope you guys are doing well out there on this beautiful Monday. I'm doing real good myself. I come across this shocking story right here. It is an eye opener. And I know that's the way the people felt when they went on vacation and came back to find all of their belongings gone and two people sleeping in their bed. Okay? Imagine some shit like that happening right there. <laughs> There's no telling what I would do. I can imagine that, you know. These people, squatters, you know, bums, whatever, you know, you want to call them. But some of society's decay that think, you know, well, whatever I don't achieve for myself, whatever somebody else got, I'm going to make it mine. I'm going to do what I want to do. You understand? And that's what's going on in this case, as far as I'm concerned, you know, uh, because, uh, you know, you got no right to go in someone's home, you know, take all their belongings, then lay your funky ass down in their bed and go to sleep. You know, you playing a dangerous game, you know. <laughs> wow. I would hate to have to experience something like this, you know. Let's get into this story right here. This is ridiculous. And I don't know if these are the people they caught or not, but I guess as we go through the story, we'll see. It says here, a Maryland couple says they went on vacation and returned to find all of their belongings gone and another couple sleeping in their bed the only item left in their home <laughs> the bizarre incident unfolded on april 5th when the couple came back to their apartment in the city of greenbelt they had been on vacation since march 28th the first thing they noticed was that their front door was damaged when they went inside, all their property was missing. The apartment was completely empty. At that point, they began to record video with their cell phones, okay? I guess that's what you would do, but uh, make sure you pull the strap too. <laughs> I mean, you know, if you go on a, 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 a door that you find, you know, partially ajar, you know, by force or whatever, Best thing to do, you either call the cops and let them come out and look at the shit and go in there, or you go in there with your strap pulled, basically, okay? That's what it all boils down to. Now, to continue, the only piece of furniture still in the apartment was a bed, and they found a man and a woman sleeping on it. Bums. You see what I'm talking about? Making your shit they shit, you see? <laughs> wow. The couple says that the two people told them they had taken all their belongings and then got aggressive with them. They fled the apartment on foot. Missing from the apartment was furniture, food, clothing, even the doors on the kitchen cabinets. These some damn crackheads. Damn. They said there were plastic bags filled with items and there was trash on the walls. Okay. These some damn crackheads if I ain't never seen none. They did all that shit, man. Damn. Goes on to say here that a couple believes they lost more than 49000 worth of belongings. It's just so devastating to come home from what was probably a really nice vacation and be excited to sleep in your own bed. And all of us has felt that particular way too. I know there's been times that, you know, I went, me and my wife went on vacation and came on. I was thinking while I was on vacation, I can't wait to get home so I can sleep in my own bed. You know, so I can understand what these people are saying. Okay. But to continue and then just be totally rocked, not only with the fact that someone's been in your space, but they've taken everything, said Greenbelt City Police Officer Hannah Glasgow to W. T.O.P. TV. Okay. Wow. Mm -mm -mm. The Greenbelt Police Department is asking for the public's help in identifying the two suspects that were found in the apartment. One was a black male adult and the other was a white female adult. The police released screenshots from the video that the couple recorded of the suspects before they fled. All right. Like I said, y'all should have went in there with the strap. But a lot of you probably didn't have a strap. Let's check this video out. Well, an alarming story this morning. Can you imagine you come home and find strangers in your bed? 
That is exactly what two roommates in Prince George's County found when they came back from vacation. But that's not all. Furniture, food, clothing, even the kitchen cabinet doors were gone. Now the roommates found a man and a woman lying in bed together and the bed was the only piece of furniture left in the house. When they confronted the couple, the suspects became aggressive and then ran off. Greenbelt police released these photos, hoping that someone will recognize these suspects. That is messed up. Harry and Mary Hippie making somebody else shit theirs. What kind of shit is that, you know? I hope they catch these two bums right here. You know, if y'all want to sleep somewhere for free, take your ass to jail. And I'm sure that's where you're going to be sleeping at once they catch you. And they need to catch your ass. You want free rent? You know, a free ride, you know, and food and board and all that shit. Yep. Jail is the place for you since you don't want to try to live like what other people that's working hard to maintain what they got. You know, but you just want to just sponge, you know what I mean, and leech off of them. And then get caught and talk shit. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think it would have went that way here. You know what I'm saying? But I'm praying nothing like that ever happens, you know, here at our house. You know what I'm saying? And I'm hoping... Nothing like that happened to you guys either, you know, any of my viewers, because, you know, that wouldn't be a good experience, you know. But y'all tell me what y'all think about this particular story right here. I'm interested in hearing your thoughts, views, and opinions on it. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. People, please remember to live your life as though we are being watched simply because we are. This is James, and I'm out. Peace.